Dann, liebe Freunde, kommen wir jetzt zum, äh, zu unserem ersten Ladies Fight. Und zwar zwischen einer Fechterin, die ich gerade erst kennengelernt habe. Ja. Sie ist von einem Verein, der heißt Swadensteen aus Delft in den Niederlanden. Ja. Sie fechtet seit 2016. Ja, und ihr Name ist Elin Spick. Okay, exquisite Musikauswahl, wie ich finde. Okay, und ihre Gegnerin ist bekannt unter dem Namen Die Rote Flora. Ihr könnt sie nachher mal fragen, warum. Äh, sie fechtet seit 2015 und ist aktuell stationiert in Kassel bei Schwertfechten Nordhessen. Ja. Und hier ist für euch Flora von Steinkerr. Team, by, is also coached by her coach there, Gerrit Bart, right? again, on the side of the ring. Gerrit is also Ready? the coach of the uh, German national uh, women's team. And also, as you might have noticed Out. by now, we gave the judge a microphone. Uh, we have a German. Perry repose from white, so one point white. All in English. Ready? Go! Okay, it's starting good. Alina on the attack. Halt! But Halt! Florida on the repost. Again, we have a parry repost from white. One, uh, two points Another white hit. because the hit to the, the torso. first hit was to the hand and in this exchange it was to the torso, Go. which is two points. Thanks for the hint with the comments. We have it cranked up right now, so we can't Halt. do any more here. And again, we have a parry repost. From white again to the torso for two points. White is getting her repose. Ready? Go. Very strong game plan. Halt. Time. I didn't see what happened. I think green went in with a thrust or a strike to the head and missed. And white didn't do a repose, so I don't think anything landed. We'll see what the judges say in a minute. So we are not 100% sure, so we do not award any points for this. Ready? Thank you for the hint. Go! Okay, Alina in the ox stance with the hands high and the point forwards. Now switching through her stances. Out. Coming with a strong attack and Flora again trying to parry and repost. So Very no nice points. back at repost Ready? here. But the repost was with a flat, so no points. Out. Uh, Elina hit with a point, I guess. We have Harry from green. Two points green for the hit to the torso. Also nice to observe Ready? the balls, very technical fighters. Uh, Go! Two points to green and five points to white. White Out. is still ahead. Time. We have two attacks, but only one hit, and that's the hit from green to the head for two points. Ready? It's getting more even Go. now. White is one point ahead. Oh. Lead blows from both fencers. Oh. 
Yes, these are the more technical fencers, I would say. The previous fencers, although they had a lot of years, um, they didn't really have that much technical expertise, not as much as uh, these women, I guess. At least they didn't show it here. Those, are, those women are very technical. And uh, I think they are relying more on the technique than on everything else, which is, in my opinion, a very nice trade. Yes, this is really a joy to watch. Okay, we have a lot of things happening, but in the end we have one uh, valid hit, yes. and that's the hit from green to the torso with the Unterhaut, 2.3. Now green is one Ready? point ahead. Go. Out. We have you take a one hit, hit on the hands to hit the, the head. Blade was already on the way. So we have two points green for the hit to the head, one point white for the hit to the arm. Ready? The Go. judge counts the afterglow as a double hit. Because it already started when the other Out. hit. So it was in time. And we have that explains it. repose to the arm for one point white. White making it close Ready? again, one point difference. Go! The fence Go. is not going. Halt. I only saw a flat hit from and white time. and from green. I think it was a hit on the hands. Um, um, yeah, white did something that a lot of fencers tend to do, which is, is um, throwing a twirhau with a normal a hammer grip. From white. Green is continuing the attack, but the attack, the way the blade is traveling, is too short. So that makes the hit that white scores the valid hit for one point. One point white. Give me a big favor. Yeah. Um, try a little bit long. Okay, it's eight to eight, so the score is very tight now. Um, Elena came out strong with her attacks, but um, Flora knew how to repose them. So now they're both a little bit measured, and they're, I think they filled, felt each other out. 20 seconds left, so this might be the last exchange or the one to last exchange. Out. We have a hit from green to yeah, the arm. One mistake point green. from white, she uh, checked out the ring last and then she lost Ready. focus and got in Go. the uh, hit on the arms. Alina trying to cut the angle, pushing right against the edge. Halt! Halt! But to no avail, I think. I will judge this as an unfair Again, close to the border of the ring. Both, um, the fencers were turned with uh, the yeah, perpendicular to the judge, so, so it hot. was very difficult to see uh, for the judge. The judge clears it, um, declares it an unclear exchange, which means that Elina is one point ahead. So Flora will need to change a little bit up on her game plan. Of course, mooting the judge here for some privacy. This is a very close match, but I think um, the beginning was all for Flora. Then in the end, uh, Elina make, uh, made a really nice comeback. So I think Elina now has the uh, momentum and is carrying the fight. So Flora will need to adapt again. So far, this is the fight that I enjoy enjoyed the most here. It's very technical, very clean hits, or at most very clean hits or very nice fighting styles here yes there's a, a lot of variety also um, they're not just throwing the same attack or the same hand snipe all over again they're really trying to get deep to get go for the two point uh, target which is yeah half the effort <laughs> <laughs> oh, i got no fighting years here how many years We can see a, s a lot of experience in both fighters. Elin so Flora has been fighting since 2015 and Elina since 2016. So they have seven or eight years uh, of experience. Okay, Flora is still waiting patiently. Oh, 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 they're nice a grappling. Halt! And a uh, disarm. Swords are expensive, so it's very right kind of her to give it back. <laughs> Ready? Go! Um, this arm also counts for two points. 
His arms are one of the oh. most difficult things to do in a fight. We team. have Perry repose from white, one point white. I reposted Ready? the arms, so one point for right. Go! She is two points behind now. Halt! Again, we have Perry repose from white, this time to the head, so two points white. White again Ready? from the repost two Go. points, which means it's a draw now. 11 to 11. Two minutes left. Again, grappling, oh. very difficult situation. I think there was a position where Elena had to point the right in towards forward. the chest of Florida. She just didn't finish it. Okay. Let's see what the judge says. Unclear. Ready? I think it's a good call. Go! Out. Nice repose from Elina. The attack from white is too short. The counter attack from green hits one point green. Ready? The judge agrees. Go! Elina putting up a lot of um, threat to Florida, which means Florida is Out. pushed into her corner, which gives her a, a lot of arm. fewer Both options to point. move around since she's in her corner. Ready? Very good tactical Go. position for Elena. Halt! Again, there a grappling was, exchange there, where Elena the, tried to disarm um, Florida. Um, Again, okay. entered the uh, same time, way, please. attack from above, countered with a somewhat swear, and then the grappling. And according to the judge, there was also a valid hit. It was very difficult to see. So the valid hit was a thrust with one hand from green. We have two points green. Yeah, in the grappling exchange, there was a valid Ready? hit from green. Go! Out. We have a double hit. Both one point. A double hit. Ready? Go! White is three points behind now. Halt. And again, the grappling exchange. Again, we have a thrust from green. That is the valid hit. Two points. Ready? Go! Okay, Flora needs to find a way uh, around the um, grappling. Either not get into a grappling distance or um, yeah, start grappling herself. Halt. Uh, this was a nice throw. We have a parry repose from white for two points because to the head. Two points white. Okay, break. pause. Okay, now uh, 90 seconds break. Um, yeah, as expected, um, Elina is carrying through her momentum from the first round and is getting ahead with uh, three points now. Um, it's 18 for Elina for green and 15 for Flora white. Um, I think what the big difference is, is the grappling exchanges where when they come a little bit too close and there's no clear... Um, winner or no clear hit then when elena grabs the sword it's almost over for flora and it's one or two points for elena we have now seen this approach uh, several times a couple of times where elena starts with a attack from above and uh, flora counters it with a swear or with the underhow and then afterwards goes on into grappling and maybe also in a disarm but there's a point where flora has a hard choice to make yeah um, i think flora should um yeah, really be careful with her throw house because oftentimes they're not with enough quality, either not hard enough or just with a flat because uh, she's holding her, she's keeping her sword with a hammer grip. That's a very hard situation here. Elina makes it very hard for Flora to get something in this way and there we can also see the quality of the fighters at this day. Also, uh, Elina is putting a lot of pressure on uh, Flora so she can't play the distance game because she's already uh, in the corner or to the side Ready? of the arena. Go! Let's see if she can turn it around. Halt. Again, it's where how we doubt a lot of intention, which means we Elena can take over the strike. To the arm for one and point again, white. started with an attack from But Ready? this time, the judge counted it as um, enough intention. Halt. Yeah. Nice Unterhau.
Again, there was the intention that we want to see. From yeah, wide. that's so a nice intention. Two point wide also notice that um, to the torso. Flora is fencing Ready? more in the middle of the ring Go. instead of all the way to the edge. Alina is moving herself to the side. She's not pressuring as much as she did the previous rounds. Hold. Uh, I already saw two happening. hits before um, I'm not the design. points for this exchange. The judge agrees. Ready? Go! No, no point. Out. Yeah, another Again. nice Unterhau. She's having Harry a lot of success with that Unterhau. To the torso for Since it's on the wide. torso, it's two points in this rule set. Ready? She's getting Go. ahead now. Alina is letting off the pressure. Now she's coming Out. again. Oh, there's we a good coaching on both sides. Both two Garrett points. Garrett has fine-tuned the attacks from Schwerich to Anderhau. Ready. And now Go. Arthur is fine-tuning Aline again. Out. There, the, uh, the uh, attack from above is a slightly different approach, a slightly different angle, and now the Anho doesn't work anymore. I think Aline is also getting a little bit uh, stressed out because now she's attacking blindly, and which just causes doubles. Not only through her own fault, I think Flora is partly responsible for the doubles, but still, uh, you see the mental okay. game is um, uh, playing parts on uh, Elina. Alina is now uh, two points point. behind with a uh, 22, 22 for Go. Um, Flora. She got one point for the last exchange, so it's one point difference. Halt. Uh, we have a double hit. Um, we have one point white for the hit to the hand, two points green for the hit to the head. Ready? Go. I'm just here to have fun. <laughs> Hold. Again, a we have a with a flat. from white for one point for the hit to the arm. Ready. But the judge disagrees. Go. Judging by the time. Flora is back in her corner. Hold. Oof. And there I see no intention swear again. Again, we have a parry repost from white, two points for the hit. They count the it as a, I think it was an Unterhau to Ready. the torso. Ah. Go. Sorry for that. White is now three points ahead with 25 seconds on the clock. Alina needs to make something happen. Out. Uh, and nice she does. Paint. She does. The attack from green hits to the arm. One Faint point green. Faint and Ready. Unterhau to the arm. Go. Two Last points exchange. difference. Alina needs a deep target hit. Last exchange. Yeah. And oh, uh, can she? Can she? Hold! Hold! Oh. Hide! 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 Okay, Alina I kept can. fencing after the break. Fair game. <laughs> now it's okay. up to the judges. What will they say? We will award no points because there was and before I said out. Thank you. No point there. Nice comeback for Flora. Deserved victory. I think Elina let up the offense a little bit too much. She didn't put pressure enough. Flora made a really nice comeback. And she managed to conquer and the um, rapping exchange. With Flora with 26 to 24. Good Thank fight. Okay, congratulations on your uh, you. victory. It was a, again a very exciting uh, match, a very big, uh, big and forth. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, um, yeah, the first round. You started off very well, five points ahead, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. um, what changed that Elina made such a big comeback? Um, I think um, at first I could just parry repost, yeah. so I could um, trigger her and she come and I could give a parry repost. And then she changed her tactic, so um, I had to adapt. Now, I had the idea that mm -hmm. in the beginning she was mm -hmm. attacking quite recklessly, quite yes. soon, yes. so that you could predict her. Yeah. But in the end, she 
kept faking the attack so yeah. that you were in your corner or to the side and then she had all the pressure and you had nowhere to go. Yeah, and then she started grappling, which with yeah. very nice round, uh, grappling, yeah. yes. In the last so I had part. to adapt to that, but um, in the first I was like overwhelmed. Yeah. And after that, um, yeah, the second I round. defeated myself. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think it was it was mm -hmm. very close. Mm -hmm. But Elena yeah, made a nice comeback, so she mm -hmm. was really on a roll. Mm -hmm. She carried that over to the second round, and there she really got ahead. Yeah. What went wrong in the second round? Ooh. You already said the grappling exchanges? Yeah, the grappling exchanges. In the first one, it overwhelmed me, so I was a bit, okay, what to do? Yeah. And then, when she started it again, it was also not my comfort zone, but then yeah. I started to defeat it. So yeah. um, that it was not um, a disadvantage for so me. So between yeah. the second and the third mm -hmm. round, mm -hmm. what did Gerrit say in your corner, or what was the game plan after that? Because Alina was putting a lot of pressure on you. You were yeah. always to the side. You had no options to retreat to play the parry pose game. And as soon as you came in, she could do her grappling. Yeah, that's right. But um, in the last round, um, I got back to the parry repose game because yeah. the la last exchanges, it was, uh, except the last one, it was also parry repose. And yes, I was in the corner, but I could trigger her with a little yeah, movement. Little movements, a yeah. feints. Yes. A trigger. Yeah. And it was not big, but it was enough. Yeah. And I think in the l there were some moments where she saw that and then she tried to calm down. Yeah. And then it was harder for me. Um, and then we also got some double hits for, yeah. yeah. Okay, <coughs> I also noticed that in the first, <laughs> second and second round, mm -hmm. you were mainly trying to twer house. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, with a hammer grip means they were often flat or low quality. Mm -hmm. But in the third round, you started transitioning into Unterhaus. Yeah. Was it a con conscious de decision or were you just feeling it and was that the opening that presented itself? It presented itself because she gave more pressure from above. From above yeah. So I could not stay in this line, I had to go yeah. in the um, deeper to the line. Lower line. Yeah, the lower line, yeah. thank you. Yeah, very nice. Uh, tactical mm -hmm. uh, victor. Mm -hmm. I think in the end, um, I noticed that you had a lot more space to work around. Mm -hmm. Elina wasn't pushing you in the corner. Mm -hmm. um, was it by an action of Elina that she just didn't do it anymore? Or was there from your side something that worked to get her out of the center of the ring so that you had more place to work with? I think Gerrit pushed me harder. Go, yeah. go for it. You're in yeah. Two points, you have two points more than. So, having a the good coach in your yeah, corner yeah. really helps. He was a very good coach, I'm very thankful. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think, yeah, it, mm -hmm. the breaks, I mm -hmm. think, made the fight, uh, the adaptations mm -hmm. made yeah. the fight, and it made you win a very good uh, victory. Mm -hmm. And also, the last exchange, I think that mm -hmm. was a, yeah, a mental victory before mm -hmm. the, the judge um, called break because mm -hmm. you defended the, um, the grappling. <laughs> Yeah, I liked it very much. I liked how she fought. She was very into it, yeah. and but I um, was also very into it. It was, it was fun. It was a very nice fight. <laughs> I think it was the most technical fight, the most um, varied fight that we've seen mm -hmm. to date. Um, yeah, it was um, yeah a lot of techniques, a lot of different stances. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of back and forth. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of tactical variety also. Like beginning with the parry pose and yeah, Alina taking over with her pressure and grappling exchange, you taking over mm -hmm. again with your um, low strikes. Mm -hmm. So all in all, I think it was a very nice fight. Thank you. I also enjoyed the fight with Alina. She's a very good fan, so Indeed, I'm she's very good. thankful to have this fight with her. Yeah. <laughs> now, a couple of weeks ago, I think two weeks ago, yeah. I tried to attack like Alina yeah. did. <laughs> did it help in any way or was it uh, just... Yes. <laughs> It, it just gave me security. I knew, okay, I had to prepare for this Oberhaus yeah. you gave me, and that's also what I trained. And it worked out, so, yeah. So, um, except for that, how well did you train to fight against Elina? Uh, there is a lot of material of her on uh, the yeah. videos from um, the Dutch HEMA Championship. Yeah, I think I saw some of her videos, not too much, but some to get an idea of her fencing style and then I just picked one thing out and prepared for that 
And just what was to the thing that you picked out? It was the Oberhaus. The Oberhaus. It was yeah. to trigger her to give the parry and then post. Parry and post yeah. Which in the beginning you got mm. five points yeah. ahead, and in the end you, yeah. as soon as you were relieved a little bit from yeah. the pressure, so that you had space to move mm. around, I think it worked very well. Yeah, but um, I didn't watch more than these three videos, I think, because not to get panic. Yeah. <laughs> Prepare for one thing, and then you and have don't to trust the yourself. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay. I think okay. we had a very nice fight. Do you have anything else to say? Um, no, I think that was it. Um, it was great. I'm thankful for Aline, and yeah. Thank you for Thank the you interview. Thank you for the interview. <laughs> and um, yeah, congratulations on your victory. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Have yep. a nice night.